all right you guys welcome back oh my meat's done oh yay welcome back to another episode of valheim my name is the goodish gamer and in today's video we're gonna head on over this ish way the demon deer ichthyr and we're gonna uh try to wreck his face so i'm just trying to get some things prepared uh so we can have an episode today speaking of episode today you guys are here i'm here it's a wonderful day i hope you guys are having a great day i'm having a like i said a wonder a wonderful day nailed it <laughs> No, but thank you guys so very much for your support on the on the uh, Valheim series. It means a lot to me. We're having so much fun with it. And then today's video, by the end of it, we should have Ichthyr on his rear. And he's going to, uh, I think it unlocks the, his antlers. Correct me if I'm wrong. His antlers unlock the ability for us to make a pickaxe. So that's going to really start progressing us forward in the game. So uh, make sure you guys grab your snacks, sit back, and enjoy the ride. Now, while my meat is searing... Oh, yeah. On the fire. I'm just kind of preparing here with food. I'm, uh, I'm going to show you what I did here. I kind of built on some stuff. I did this little Viking thing that everybody does in Valheim. And I was like, wait, everybody's doing it. I want to do it, too. Uh, so we did this little X pattern with beams. And the beams don't actually touch the dirt. I've tried to hoe this thing up. But my hoe, as you know, is uh, it's not it's not the best hoe out there. So I keep I keep her locked in the chest. <laughs> that was weird <laughs> all right let's keep the meat going there we go perfect but yeah, anyway, anyway i want to show you guys that i also put this little uh, rooftop right here some nice convenient stairs and just kind of some stuff also per your guys's recommendation suggestion i removed the beam on the floor and it totally fixed the door <laughs> is this the rhyming episode i don't know it sure sounds like it so thank you guys so much for that and we're on fire <laughs> oh my god I guess I didn't realize you could get on fire, or I forgot about it anyway. There we go. Nice. Yeah, so building building is a thing. I'm absolutely loving building in Valheim. Uh, made a lot more chesticles, chesticles, if you will. And then also, did I show you guys we moved the chopping block inside and the, uh, the workbench inside? So, some things I've done off camera. Um, I went ahead and upgraded my flint axe to level 2, as well as the fine wood bow. I noticed on the... Uh, the workbench do this food. I'm trying to talk, do the intro, have an episode, and the food's cooking at the same time. Uh, but uh, I noticed over here on the workbench, I was like, wait, there's an upgrade button. So I clicked it, and I was like, wait a second. We can upgrade the fine wood bow to tier 2, level 2, whatever, with a uh, two-star workbench. And I was like, yeah, we sure can. Ten fine wood bow. It took me about three hours to get that, beating woods out, or beating uh, logs out there on the wood. I don't know if that was better. You know what I'm saying? Just like running the, the regular wood into the into the birch to get the fine wood and also core wood we found that in the last video or i think it was the last video it's just over there in the in the uh black forest you know the black forest ham biome over this way <laughs> somewhere around here yeah all the, all the way over here you can get that wood there so i went ahead and uh, upgraded my my bow we should be good to go also <laughs> this is the rhyming episode <laughs> nailed it i made a bunch of flint head arrows as well as fire arrows just getting our meat situated over here a little bit more left to cook i'm gonna sleep we put clothes on and then we have food a tier two all the arrows we should be good to go um yeah so i'm gonna finish cooking this up i'm gonna wait for it to be the next day bees the bees are happy that's wonderful so am i i hope you guys are too <laughs> well i'll see you guys in the morning and good morning Wow, what a wonderful night's sleep. I went ahead and slept with the door open. Day 19, we were flying through the, the days, the weeks here, but uh, we're not getting too far, so that changes today. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. I think I left that on overnight. Surely did. It is coal. Wow. So here's what I'm thinking, you guys. We have food figured out. Uh, we're doing really well there. The armor, it is what it is. We could, like, tier two the thing, but that means I'd have to go out there and grab all the deer, and deers are hard to find in Valheim. Rhyming. I'm a poet. And now I know it. Uh, so my plan is to grab some materials, some building materials. One, um, so we can craft a workbench over here by Ichthyr. <laughs> here by Ichthyr. Oh, bro. It just removed all of it. Hold the, hold the phone. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm clicking around. It's the wrong thing. The click. I don't even know where it is now. Okay. Um, terror. Terror is over there. We're going to head towards terror. 
I can't believe you can remove the the beacon. Okay, anyway, I was going to build a workbench over there. Uh, let's go ahead and 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I'm finding that two pieces of meat and honey is pretty good. It's going to bring our HPs up quite nicely. Also, there is feathers right here, which is huge. <laughs> what the crap? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and talk to this little nerd. I'm going to come right here. I'm going to remove this that and then we're gonna go right here oh i can't actually i can't select it that's so weird yeah strange <laughs> demon deer there we go it's he's right here and he's a campfire um i found a summoning place of one of the forsaken make the correct offering to the uh altar and they will come be wary though the forsaken are not easy prey so craft a wicked weapon Don your finest armor and eat a hearty meal before engaging in combat i would say we're nailing it we're doing really well Runestone, read. Mystical altar. Uh, let's go ahead and re re read the runestone. I don't think this summons them. Actually, let's wait. I, I want to make sure that we like get this thing built first. So what I want to do, like I said, let's craft up this guy. Oh, we can't craft him. Um, I kind of want to put him out of the way. Ish. You know what I'm saying? That way, Ichthyr is not going to wreck his face. And I think if we just do this, I think we've already confirmed this, right? This, this, this. I don't think we need the sides on it, but it just kind of worked last time. So we're just going to run with it right there, right there. And then boom, boom. And that works, right? So now we can come here and repair stuff. Yeah, perfect. Now let's come right here and we should probably put this down because I don't know if we can upgrade, you know, repair level two things without uh, that thing. So go right here. And we'll do this. Uh, controls, controls. There we go. So now we can stick this guy here. This stuff in here. You may want to keep this honest just in case. But this is going to give us the ability to craft more arrows if we need it. Come run over here real quick and uh, just kind of repair everything. So. I think we're ready to go, you guys. I think this is it. This is what we've been waiting for. Uh, checking our food. Our ammo right here i'm pretty sure ichthyr is just gonna like run this thing over and destroy it but let's let's read it here real quick map location oh good 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 it actually updated it so it's right here nice i think if we come right here and we e on it is it really gonna be foggy we don't e on it do we stick it in here use deer trophy on what Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> Four? You, oh, we made an offering. I think this is it, you guys. This is it. Yeah, he's starting to... He's starting to come together. It's getting terrible. Oh, my God. Here we go. Here he is. There's a deer. You guys, like the other demon deer. And 29. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, we got to remember... Uh, What is it? All right. We got to remember our dip... Dip... Do, do, dodge, dip, dive. Crap. All right, let's go ahead and go over here. I probably should have done this first. Let's come right here and right click. There we go. All right. <laughs> We're doing really well already. Let's get him on fire. Oh, look at that. Yes. This guy's crazy. This guy's crazy. Oh, oh my God. All right, right away. I'm trying to get a... Uh... Oh, yes. Yes. Sorry, I'm screaming. I'm screaming. I'm trying to get a, a nice screenshot. There's wood everywhere. Here we go, here we go. Oh yeah, nice! All right, so the fire does hurt him a little bit. Uh, we're still doing really well. Oh, this is where it hurts. Oh my God, we're doing very, very well on uh, health. He's also taking down trees. Oh bro, oh bro, this is great. This is greatness. Yeah! We're doing really well, you guys. Crap! Oh, we're just picking up wood throughout the uh, throughout the land. All right, yeah. Uh, I, the fire arrows is where it's at, isn't it? Oh my god, dude! I keep trying to dodge. It's like control. What is it? It's a uh, mouse wheel in space. Mouse two. 
plus space. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Just read. Read there, goodish. Wait, where'd he go? Ixir? There he is. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why? Where'd he go? Oh my God. Improved blocking. Nice. We're just kind of tanking this guy. Here we go. Nice, nice, nice. I'm too nervous to say anything else. I'm like, there we go. Nice. Oh, see, he wrecked it. Freaking turd. He almost killed me with a... Oh, we got him. We got him. Yes. He almost killed me with a tree. Oh, it didn't explode. Oh, that was epic. Epic, you guys. Hard antler. Antler pickaxe and a trophy. We've done it. Uh, here he is. Hugin wants to talk. Return to Sacrificial Stones with your Forsaken Trophy and offer it to sacrifice to make the gods smile upon you. All right, so we can come right here. It's too exposed. I think we're doing really well. So I had no idea. I just wanted to test it and confirmed um, we can kill Ichthyr entirely with, uh, um, with the durability of a Tier 2. Probably even a Tier 1. So that was epic, you guys. We That wasn't that bad at all. Uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. So now we got to come over here. We have to learn what we're going to learn. It's this one. Ready? Three, go. Oh, wait, what? Register? Let's see here. A deer? A deer. Read. His antlers are branches of iron. They crack the rocks and bring down mountains. His hooves are the sound of thunder. His voice. A howling gale. Four. Can we four all over this bad boy? Attach the trophy. There you go. We did it. Activate power. The power of Victhyr the deer. <laughs> the seagull just flew right through me. That was epic, you guys. Wow. And then Guggenheim. Uh, let's see. You have uh, been granted the power of Victhyr. Use it in times of need. Your next target dwells in the Black Forest. Go there and explore the lands and uncover their lost treasures and resources. The Elder awaits. Oh, so the Elder is the next one. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. We're good. Um, let's see. How, um, how would I... Pick there. Is it Middle Mouse Wheel? No. I actually don't know how to activate his power. We, we'll figure it out. Let's head back home. I can't even believe it. What we thought was going to be absolutely terrible ended up being not bad at all. So the next order of business, we need to go into the Black Forest to find the uh, the Elder location. Of all things, grab some more honey right now. Don't have anything to cook. That's wonderful news. There's a deer right there just taunting me. Um, but kind of the next things that we need to do, you guys, I mean, uh, uh, we're not ready to take on the elder just yet. We need to start increasing stuff, improving stuff. So what I wanted to look at is the antler pickaxe right here. Craft it, wood, one antler. Oh, bro. Oh, it's epic. We can actually make more too. Let's go ahead and stick all this stuff in here. That, who needs it? That, that. Nice. And then, so then we have, uh... Yeah, right here, right here, right here. Let's go. Uh, we can keep it in four. That's fine. Let's go four. Let's check it out. We got to test it. Oh, dude. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So if we come over here now, we can get rock. Yeah, we sure can. So that will destroy rock. Now, if we come over this way, talk to this little guy. Black Forest are rich in minerals. There you can find copper in the ground and tin lining the ocean shore. Now go forth and strike the earth. We're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and go forth and strike the earth for sure. So it also destroys these guys. I don't want to waste the durability on it. Oh, that was epic. The neck guy wants to go. I want to find one of these tin things because I'm pretty sure it's on the. Uh, it's on the uh, shoreline. Is what. Uh, Hugin. <laughs> Hugin. Just, I can never remember his name. That's what Hugin said. All right. Let's check it. We're still in the meadows. We got to make it past this little clearing. 
Also, honestly, we need to find... Uh, like, we need as many deer as possible. Oh, one-star deer? Dude, there's a one-star deer. He's doing the old... Oh, don't do that. He's doing the... He, <laughs> he's, he's doing the, uh, the arc thing where he runs out there and... Oh, crap. We may be able to get some of the hide stuff if we jump from a high place. We kind of go underwater a little bit, right? Let's try it. And go. And then... E. Yes! Yes, that worked! Oh, that's epic. So I found out that if you right-click while uh, your bow is drawn and your arrow is knocked, then it uh, it cancels it. So that's pro tip there. Let's see here. We're coming in. We are technically in the Black Forest right now. Yeah, what is this? This looks different. Tin! We found it! We found tin! Nice! This... This is a game changer. Tin ore. What else did we learn? Let us read the tidings. Uh, raw ore needs to be refined in the smelter before you can work at it in the forge. To build a smelter, you'll need certain cores and search for them, blah, blah, blah. Did I tell you guys about that? I cannot remember if I did or not. I found the cave up here, the burial uh, grounds and all that kind of stuff. I found all the certain cores. I, I, I can't remember if I told you guys. But yeah, we actually do have Shirtling cores, so that's something that we're going to have to uh, look into. Making the smelter and everything. I just kind of wanted to come over here and test this out together. And also, you guys, um, if you want to continue seeing this be a series, put down there in the comments. It really, uh, really lets me know. It uh, helps out a lot. It helps out the channel when you comment. Also, like it informs me that you guys do want to see more, so... I would love to play more if you guys want to see it. We're playing a bunch of different games on the channel right now. This is just one of them. So this isn't replacing any of them. Uh, this tin as well. Yeah, all the tin. So we're going to have to build a smelter to smelt this up to get it into its ingot form before we actually uh, understand what tin is used for. How much tin do we actually have? 14? Oh, there's something right over there. Ow. Dude, the freaking moves on these guys. They move like last second. It's so stupid. Yes. <laughs> yes. That was epic. Explode, please. I need your skin. Nice. Just wreaking havoc with this bow. <laughs> this is kill the bird dude <laughs> all right and just like that we're back home and everything is wonderful now we are going to need to um you know start building defenses we're probably gonna have to build onto this bad boy as well now that we need a forge and some other stuff so let's look real quick uh let's see was it three let's look and see what all we need or what we what we can make now i think yeah, fine wood. Uh, we learned some uh, like furniture and that kind of stuff because we learned the fine wood. There's a deer rug. Don't need all that. But check this out, you guys. We got a portal uh, because I found some uh, gray dwarf eyes and the certling cores. Also, we can get into making a raft. We need a bunch of leather scraps. I actually have that. Oh, that's that's super cheap, honestly. And then we can get into let's see, building now, furniture now. I wonder how we make weird and an award emits magic seal nearby surroundings prevents other players from I don't know you guys I don't know how we make the uh the forge what does it need to be like a higher tier workbench maybe upgrades we can upgrade our hammer maybe we need a level two hammer let's try that real quick does that unlock new recipes or just make it like build faster oh well there we go okay <laughs> i wasn't paying attention if this is because it was level two or not but we actually need five shirtling cores which we have stone and a workbench we can get a smelter on line um let's actually go ahead and do that why would we not do that right now before i let you guys go you just see shirtling cores shirtling cores All right, we need four of those. 
Or five of those, I said. We need 20 stone. I have 19. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. There we go. <laughs> I was like, bro, come on, man. Uh, we also need to sleep. Good morning. The sun will be up here in just a minute. Day 20. We're flying through these days. Um, now, I'm going to make an assumption here, and it's probably going to be wrong. I'm going to assume, my God, this thing is massive. That's what I was going to assume. I was going to assume it's massive. And I was also going to assume that needs to be built outside. Um, actually, there we go. We can be, make it over here. That's, that's really weird. I don't know why. Let's see. There's different. Weird. There's like different sides to it. Let's just place it right there. What do we need? Oh, this guy's going to talk to us real quick. Okay, bro. What you got? Deposit your raw ore in the fern, uh, furnace and it will melt away all the uh, impurities. Leave. Leaving you at the bar. Yep, yep. You will need coal to fuel it. All right, that's what I thought. So we just need coal and then tin. Okay. Well, we have two coals, so hopefully that's enough for us to do some testies with it. And then we stick the coal. Let's see. Add item here. That's got to be the tin. And it comes out here, and then the coal goes in here. We have two. Yeah. There we go. You guys were doing it. Oh, I can't even believe it. This is epic. All right. So we have the furnace or the smelter online. We're going to get our first little bar of tin. We're going to find out what it unlocks. We're going to eat some food. Beautiful. And just like that, boom. New material, tin. Okay, it just said tin. It actually didn't tell us what we learned because of it. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, I will figure that out. Let me know down there in the comments. Um, and then we're just going to continue progressing forward. Next, we need to get out there in the Black Forest and find some copper and a start doing some amazing amazing ore stuff and then also we need a raft online to sail to different lands and find some more burial chambers yeah but that's gonna do it for today i really appreciate you guys being here spending your time with me i love you guys hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and i'll see you in the next one until next time this is the goodish gamer signing out